How's it going everybody, Ben from Budget Pokemon here, and in this video I have another German pack opening. So last year, actually at around the same time, I did actually go to my local card store and picked up some loose packs, and I did pull the Lugia V alternate art um, last year. And this time around I didn't have any loose packs, so I had to make do with like um, three different products, only three, also Pokemon 151, even though I said I didn't want to open this anymore. Um, these were kind of like the only things that were reasonably priced and were up to 10 packs with, with these products. So that's what I figured, I opened these. Um, I guess we'll start with the, um, whatchamacallit, let's just put these over here. Let's start with the Paradox Rift Blister. Um, I actually kind of like Paradox Rift. I still need a bunch of cards, as with many other sets. I mean, I still need a bunch of cards from Pokemon 151. But after having recently spent a lot of money on my personal Christmas gift, you know, that that Lily card that you might or might not have seen. I'll put a link up, up here in the corner somewhere, probably right there. Um, so go check out that video. I actually really really like the card and I'm hoping to send it into grading soon um, First up though, we do get a, a promo card. I love these promo cards. There we go. Now it's focusing It's having a hard time with the focus for some reason, but there you go All right, and here is the code card it must be the lenses are dirty or something. It's having a really hard time with the autofocus I don't think it's this um, So let's see. Let's hope it it works now so as I've said, we, I still need a bunch of cards from all these newer sets. Um, so let's see if I can get like one, one of the chase cards plus. Well, that looks very nice illustrated. Who did that? Sikio. Hmm. Haven't heard of him or them before. Okay. Um, I'll try if, if I remember to translate these, if I remember the names, I'll try to do it. But for the most part, I'm probably going to forget it. Palkia, that's the same name. That's easy. Nothing in the first pick, but here you go. There is the code card, so go enjoy that one. And let's see. I have to be honest, though. Like, with these three-pack blisters, I haven't had good luck in a really, really long time. I haven't had good luck with these three-pack blisters in a long time. I think the last time I actually had something insane was when I opened them from a 100 euro mystery box and I got, like, a chilling rain blister. And I pulled the, the Zapdos alternate art. That was something. We just get an Iron Moth in this one, holographic. Alright, one last Paradox Rift pick. I don't know if this comes with Paradox Rift, um, the Iron Valiant box, but we'll see. We shall see. Come on, we do have to get at least something from a 3-pack blister, right? They wouldn't just, like, do a product and not give you any pulls, right? They'd give you at least one, that's what you would think, but I have been proven wrong many times before. They might just not give us any pull, and this doesn't seem to be any different. Nope, never mind. I take it back. Iron Valiant EX. That is pretty decent. So, there we go. I think that card is still pretty playable. All right, I am... Do we get that card, that exact same card? No, we do get a different artwork in the Iron Valiant box. Okay, uh, let's open this one next. I've actually opened this one before, the poster collection, and I think, if I remember correctly, we didn't pull anything out of. Um, that's just the issue with Pokemon 151, though. Seeding is super bad for this set, that either you pull something insane or you pull nothing at all that's just seems how it goes well that is very securely glued jesus okay can i get this open i wonder or is the glue going to feed me nope we got it open we've got it out we've got it out let me get rid of the packaging and get the the packs out i guess only three packs of pokemon 151 um very terrible set in terms of pull rates. The cards itself, though, like, if you manage to get something, like a, a special illustration rare, it's gonna be... It's gonna be fire. Like, every single one of these special illustration rares in Pokemon 151 is really, really good. So if you manage to pull one, you're gonna be very happy. Um, this poster, I've shown this off before, so there's two sides to this. The first side is just like the, the silhouette of the of the first 151 Pokemon. Let me turn it around. There you go. This time it's in German. Um, the other side, though, the other side is actually kind of legit. 
if I can do it. I do have a little bit more space this time around. It's just the illustrations from Pokemon 151. And this site looks incredibly nice. I really, really love this poster, actually. Really, really love it. This is an awesome poster, man. This is super well done. Love it. Right. Here is the code card for that set, for the poster collection. Here are our three starters. We have the Charizard, or not the Char the Charmander. We have the, um, whatchamacallit, the Bulbasaur. No, no, that's the Bulbasaur. And we have the Squirtle. There you go. Switch them up. I like these promo cards. They're also Cosmo Holofoil, just like the one down here. And here we are with Pokemon 151. This is either, this is gonna go one way. Either we're gonna pull something insane or we're not gonna pull anything at all. There is no in-between with Pokemon 151, apparently. Like, I haven't had something in between and I've opened a bunch of packs and I did say I was done with the set. But, you know, they keep pulling me back in with the Pokemon 151. They keep pulling me back in. Even though I'm more of a Gen 3 fan myself. Even though I'm more of a Gen 3 fan. See? The first pack has nothing other than an Aerodactyl. At least we still do get the code card, or at least you do. You do. Put that aside. Second pack of Pokemon 151. Come on, give us something. Dude, imagine if I pull another Demigod pack. That'd be something. That'd be insane. That would be a really, really good way to, to start off the year. You know, to collect some some videos for for the um, end of the year video, as I've done with, with the last year. Some insane pulls. Let's see. Porygon. Yo, Alakazam! Holy moly, what? It, I'm telling you, I have to buy more packs from my local card store. I always pull insane stuff from there. It's Alakazam, or in German, as you can see, it's called Simsala. Okay. I mean, I don't know if, if that... Ooh, and a holographic energy. There we go. Here is the code card for that one. Man. Okay, that's a good way to start off the year, definitely. Um... I do want to say, yeah, that's part of my local card store. I always have good luck when I buy packs from them, which I don't do very often, though. I should probably buy more. Um, it might also just be that Pokemon 151 seeding is complete trash. Like, either you're going to get something really insane like this, or you're going to get nothing at all. Um, but this is really nice. I already have that one in English, though. Um, so we'll see what I'll do with it. This looks really, really nice. Man, okay. I haven't actually looked at the these special illustration rares from from these newer sets that much but seeing it now again after pulling it yeah these look these look super super nice i love them all right and a holographic energy to top it off jesus okay well 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 let's see that's probably not going to be anything in this but oh actually no it could be it could have an illustration rare it could have an illustration rare, but we'll see. We've got Bill. We've got the old Ember. We've got an illustration rare. We've got the Psyduck, or in German called Anton. And here we have a Raichu holographic at the end. Here is the code card for that one. Nice. An illustration rare and a special illustration rare. Jesus. Okay. That is something. That is really, really good. Right, and we still have one box left over. Um, I don't know what this comes with. Does this come with Paradox Rift? I guess there's only one way to find out. Um, I still, I think Iron Valiant is still rather playable, although I'm not too sure. So the cards themselves are probably going to be decent. I mean, it's a jumbo card. As you know, I do love these jumbo cards. I have like a whole bunch of them. Um, these are absolutely amazing. I love these. And it does come with Paradox Rift. Paradox Rift, Obsidian Flames. And Paradox Rift, Obsidian Flames. Okay. Right. Let's see what we have in here. So we have a, a nice little... It's not a promo. It's actually from a set. But it does seem to have like the Cosmo Holofoil. This looks really, really nice. And what is this? Energy Capsule or Future Energy Capsule? I don't know the exact term for this in English. 
Um, here we have the code card for that collection. Oh, by the way, even if these code cards are in German, they should still work internationally. So no worries about that. And let me get this out. There we go. Here we have the Iron Valiant EX. Different artwork than the one that we've pulled now. And we also have like a Iron Moth. This seems kind of random, although maybe there is a tactic here um, between these three. I'm not too sure. But there we go. Um, it's a Cosmo Hall of Foil promo, which is always good in my book. All right, four more packs for the opening. Let's actually start it off with Obsidian Flames. I haven't opened Obsidian Flames all that much. I've opened one booster box and that's it. Well, man, that's that's what I mostly do, unless it's a set that I really like. Like, for example, um, Pokemon 151, even though seeding was trash, I opened a ton of those packs. And I should open more of Paradox Rift, I still need so many cards, and I really, really do like the set. So I need to open more of, of Paradox Rift. But then again, I could also just buy the singles, which is what I'm mostly doing. Just buy the singles of the cards that I really want, because in the long run, you're gonna save money doing that instead of just, you know... Um, trying to open them from packs. I do get it why people do that though, like the feeling of pulling your chase card from a pack is insane. Maybe grading like a really rare card in a 10, <laughs> maybe, but yeah, it's it's so nice pulling your chase card. I mean, I know what I'm talking about. I pulled the freaking Moonbryon from a, from a um, Charizard Auto Premium collection. Let's see, we've got, hmm, don't actually know the uh, English name for this one. But oh well, we have a Yveltal, at least some of the legendaries, or most of the legendaries, are named the same as they are in English. I still don't know why they even bothered with translating some of them then. If the if some of the Pokémon just keep their name. Which seems odd. Isn't there... I don't know which one it was. Was it French or Spanish? No, it wasn't French. It might have been Spanish or something, where the Pokémon are called the exact same. But then, of course, the, the attacks and everything else is, is in Spanish. I don't know if it was Spanish, though. But that would be such a such a good change, because then you don't need to change the, um, the name of the Pokémon. You don't have to get used to them. That's, like, the difficulty with me, since I grew up with playing Pokémon in German. Yo, Parasol Lady! Um, not the special illustration rare, but man! I, I have to admit, I might like this even more than the special illustration or just a standard full art trainer. Very cool. Okay, so far, so far it has been a huge success, me going to my local card store. We still have one pack left, also the energy is just falling off. Get back to where you belong, right there. Here we are, Obsidian Flames. We have pulled a full art trainer. That's more than I could ask for from, from a box like that. So let's see if we can't pull anything from Obsidian Flames. Maybe another full art trainer. Who knows? That'd be something. That would be something. Let's see, we have a Sharpedo. We have a Lavatar. And, nope, just a Darkrai. Really cool illustration of Darkrai, but just a holographic, unfortunately. Well, there we are. Going to my local card store at the start of the year has paid off once again. Pulling a special illustration rare, not from Pokemon 151 of all things, too. Which is notorious for having very, very bad seating. Wow, okay, and of course the Parasol Lady. Um, I do have to say, I, I like this more than the Special Illustration for some reason, I don't know why. It just seems um, a little bit nicer to me. But here we are, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed this one, then a like would be greatly appreciated. If you didn't like it, then by all means give it a dislike, tell me in the comments below what you didn't like, so I can try to fix it for future videos. Right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button, click this one first, then click this one. Check out any of the other videos in the description below. And I hope we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace. Take care.